Outlander Season 5 is only in pre-production but fans are still debating the major twists in the Season 4 finale of the hit time travel star's drama, and the biggest was young Ian's sacrifice for his family to live with the Mohawk people. Now star Katrina Balf has teased a completely unexpected twist in the plot. Outlander's latest installment was an emotional gut punch, in more ways than one. Jamie, played by Sam Hewen, and Claire Fraser, Katrina Balf, finally caught up to Roger McKenzie, Richard Rankin, when they found the Mohawks camp in the American forests. An elaborate rescue attempt ensued, as the chief was interested in trading with the group, particularly when he saw Claire's magical gemstone. Unfortunately for the Frasers, including young Ian, John Bell, their efforts were thwarted and Roger was still a slave to the Native American tribe. This prompted Jenny, Laura Donnelly, and Ian's, Stephen Cree, now grown-up son to prove how much he's learned with his uncle Jamie and he offered himself up to the Mohawks. A heartbreaking goodbye scene between the family members followed. And as Jamie and Claire left with Roger there was yet another devastating twist when the 20th century historian decided he couldn't go back to Brianna Randall Fraser, Sophie Skelton. Potentially carrying Stephen Bonnet's, Ed Spillier's, child after she was raped by him, Roger struggled with the prospect of accepting the baby as his own. Luckily, Roger had a massive turnaround and showed up at Aunt Jo Casta's, Maria Doyle Kennedy, Plantation River on but young Ian is still out in the wilderness with the Mohawk people. In her latest interview, Irish star Katrina, 39, has teased what's to come in the tense storyline. I think it'll have the biggest impact between Roger and Jamie, the actress told L.com there's a lot of resentment still there, and obviously Jamie is in some ways thinking about the impact that having to save Roger has had on his nephew, so that'll be an interesting dynamic. John Bell is so wonderful and you can't help but see the absolute glee that he has when he got to do those scenes with the Mohawk and the Gauntlet. I think one of the cool things is it will allow us to explore Native American culture, and the relationship that Claire and Jamie and young Ian have with them, in a deeper way. Katrina went on to say season 5 is going to be very different to what's come before, particularly as the series hurtles towards the American Revolutionary War. Viewers were also left stunned by the finale's jaw-dropping last twist, which saw the Redcoat soldiers show up to deliver an order to everyone's favorite red-headed Scott. Governor Tryon has finally cashed in on Jamie's decision to work for him, asking the Highlander to find and execute his own godfather Murtaugh Fitzgibbons, Duncan Lacroix, for his leadership in the rebellion. Obviously Murtaugh and Jamie are being tasked on opposing sides and that's going to have a huge impact on the family," Katrina continued. The war is going to put Claire and Jamie in a very precarious position. So how are they going to deal with that, and how is that going to impact their family? We've got a lot of interesting stuff coming up," the star added. Surely Murtaugh and Jamie can't stay at odds forever on the hit drama, but will young Ian ever return to his family? Time will tell.